to have in the washing place well, without the, let's say, the top, the coffins, the before, uh, the, the things that you need, the cottons, and you need many things. Of course, we have all kinds of disease. Some disease they are wounded, just some disease they need to be in bath, and uh, health hazard, the health crisis is dangerous to be in bath. So, inshallah, we will go from there and look around, inshallah, we will start the lecture. Okay. If the person is a uh, Muqim, he's a citizen of another country, 
Uh, then there is some paperwork that comes in from the embassy, uh, some, uh, some, some uh, paperwork and some stamps that are, that, that, that are required. And also if the person is a Saudi, there is also some paperwork that's required there. But all of it is just to, to, um, to confirm that the person died of, of, of natural causes and that there is no suspicion in, 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 in regards to his death. Meaning that he hasn't, there's no suspicion in regards to him being killed or something like that. So now this is the hospital. Now the third situation is that if the person dies inside of the hospital. So the third one is obviously if the person dies in a hospital, that process is a bit more easier because there is a committee in the hospital and their paperwork is going to be a lot more easier uh, to, to uh, grant the person a, a burial. Because all of this requires a, 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 like a letter of release to say that the person is allowed to be uh, taken and uh, is allowed to be buried. So once a person has passed away in the hospital, then uh, receiving that permission to get him buried is a lot more easier uh, because that comes from the committee of the hospital and their doctors and obviously they've seen that the person has died of natural causes. So the next process is moving them from that particular place, whether it's uh, whatever of those three places we mentioned, until this place here. <coughs> so if it's going to take some time from the time of him being washed or being buried, then they put him here in, in, in type, like a, 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 a fridge where they just keep uh, the body cold. Uh, So this place here, where, where we are at the moment, is divided into two. On the on the west wing is a, the, uh, the section for the for the females, where the uh, females are washed and, and, and shrouded. And this side here is, is the male side. And this side here, as, as you can see, it has four rooms where the washing occurs. And you have one room here, which is like a pool room, just in case that there is uh, some delay in, in burial or washing. They place the dead body here in the pool. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in regards to a person who dies a, a normal death, a natural death, uh, then he uh, he's brought here and he's washed uh, uh, normally with, without any without any uh, extra precautions or anything like that. As for a person that may have uh, died according to uh, uh, may have died because of a fire, has done uh, because, uh, by being burned to death, then that person uh, there he, uh, he's not washed. He's just the amul is made uh, uh, on him. Uh, as for a person that uh, has died of a uh, contagious disease and, and there's a fear that he may uh, transfer his disease to people that are alive, then there's a special room for, uh, that, uh, for that person to, 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 to be washed. So that's in the case of uh, a person has uh, like a contagious disease that could be spread to other people. There's a special uh, room where um, uh, there's no chance of uh, being contaminated. As for a person that's passed away because of a car accident, uh, for example, he may have uh, parts of his body missing or different things like that. In that situation, either they will still try to complete a, a, a proper puzzle of him and, and try to wash him, uh, not, uh, but not with the parts that are, uh, are, are missing, and try their best to wash them. Or, if that can't be done, a tiamu will be made on him as well. So as you can see, this is the, the, the room here in which you, 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 wash the, uh, you wash the dead person. You obviously place him on the, on, on the table here, and this is the, the place uh, where the, the water is used. This is the, the pure water in which water is uh, used to, to, to wash. So now the chef will explain the, the process of, of washing the dead person. ورق شجر يطحن بهذه الطريقة اسمه السدر هناك سدر عربي وهناك سدر غير عربي السدر العربي النبت الثمرة صغيرة ولها رائحة مميزة والسدر غير العربي له ثمرة كبيرة وكذلك لها رائحة مميزة هذا الذي لكن الذي يستعمل في هذا هو النبت العربي النبت العربي فإن لم يوجد النبت العربي فلا مانع أن تأخذ من أوراق السدر النوع الثاني Okay, so uh, as we mentioned here, that there is the water here, and, and, and that you saw there is cider, which is a type of perfume that they use to, uh, to, to, uh, to purify the smell of, of, of the body. And uh, the chef was mentioning it, it's called uh, cider. There's two types of cider, one that's an Arabic one, and one that's not an Arab one. Uh, the one that's a, the Arabic one, as you can see, it's very, very small and it's refined, as in the one that's not uh, Arabic uh, or from an Arab asal. It's, got, it's, a, it's much larger. And, um, and yeah, obviously, if you can't find this one, you can use the other one as well. Is it uh, from the Lotte tree? Is it yeah, it's from a certain tree, yeah. So this is another type of perfume, which is, which is uh, as nice as Kapoor. And the uh, same type of thing as what you put it in the water. And it, uh, it, it, uh, it, it gives the water a nice smell. Yes. So first we mentioned the covering of the hand with the cloth because you'll be touching the hands uh, direct. Uh, obviously, you'll be touching private parts here. So um, you know it's good to to cover the cover the hand with the cloth. Mm -hmm. 
ذكرنا الرأس ويطلق على الباطن مثل ما ذكرنا لماذا؟ باستقرار ما موجود في الفم وما يوجد في الدبر ثم يخرج شيء ثم يرده ثم يخرج شيء يبدا بغسله So you, they, they begin by uh, 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 sitting the body up from the back, using the, uh, placing, by placing the hands on the back of the head and placing the body up, uh, and place, uh, uh, pressing down on the stomach. Uh, so in case there's any type of najas or impurities, they can come out of the mouth and they can come out of, uh, from the from the, uh, the back side to to get all the, the things that are impure outside of the body. Once that's happened and that's all been washed away, they start with the the, the washing. إذا خرج شيء طبعا من البداية من دبوره أو من فمه ما الذي يصنع به؟ طبعا إذا كان موجود هذا الجهاز أو يكون عن طريق ماذا؟ عن طريق المغراب ويدخل من هنا ويصب الماء ويغسل يغسل نعم المقدمة القبل ثم ينزل بعد ذلك إلى ماذا؟ So obviously, if uh, if something uh, did come out, it gets washed away. Then, uh, if you have a piece of equipment like that, or you can use a, a, a bottle like this to wash. And then, like here as well, you cover up the elbow, especially for the men, from the from the navel to the the the, the uh, knees. And then, with that uh, with that cloth, the other parts are washed, and anything that's there is washed away. Uh, and uh, go ahead. الخطوة الثانية الوضوء مثل ما ذكرنا يبدأ باليد اليمنى So here we begin by we begin by um, making wudu. So the same way you make wudu, we do the same way the thing that you do to the body here. So the same way when you start wudu, you start by washing the hands, uh, starting from the right, and that's what you do there. Wudu al kamila. Yeah, a full wudu, making wudu complete. Al fam, مثل ما ذكرنا يمسح فقط مثل هكذا. So in regards to the the mouth, you don't you don't place. غير إدخال الماء إلى فمه ولا إلى أنفه. You don't put any water in the mouth or anything like that. ثم يضع يده على الأنف والفم. And then what you do is you place your hands over the over the mouth and the nose. لا سنستعمل الماء الماء والسدر الآن بعد هذا بعد الانتهاء من الوضوء نستعمل الماء والسدر والغسل قلنا نجزي واحدة من البداية إلى النهاية والكمال ثلاثة فإن رأى المغسل أكثر من ثلاثة أو خرج منه شيء خمس فإن رأى سبع وفي الغالب أنه لا يتعدى السبع So obviously you do the, the, the rest of the wudu, making wudu as you would, uh, and finishing off with the with, with the with the feet, and then uh, we make uh, 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 we what make also for the rest of the body. So wash the rest of the body, and as we mentioned, uh, it can be uh, three times, and uh, obviously the last time is going to be with the with the sitter. <laughs> So actually, so so just to clarify, so So just quickly, so uh, it is all, all the three times that some the siddha is is present inside of it. So so you can just imagine the siddha is put in here. They haven't put it in here because they don't want to waste it uh, just like that on on, on something, something that's not there. 
So, but usually what will happen is the sidr is inside the water here, and then they will use that perfumed water to wash the body uh, three times. Then the kaput is used, uh, it, 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 um, it's put in the hands and it's wiped over the body for the last time. <laughs>
اكتفى اكتفى انتهينا الحمد لله بالكفر اراد ان يضيف مثال الرابعه والخامسه الرابعه تكون بما وسدت الخامسه بالكافور السادسه بما وسدت السابعه بالكافور ينهي ينهي الغسل طبعا هذا ليس من باب الالزام وانما هو من باب فقط تطبيق التطبيق الان هذه بالنسبه للجثه التي لا اشكال فيها لا اشكال فيها طبيعيه تعتبر حتى لو كانت على حادث ويوجد قصور مثال او كذا يعتبر طبيعي لكن الان لو عندنا الجثه الان في حاله ايش؟ احتراق الجثه احرقت ولا نستطيع ابدا غسله ماذا نفعل؟ Okay, so now we, what we just discussed is a person that just died of normal natural causes, uh, like of a sickness or something, but now we can discuss if, if, if something occurred like a, a, a fire or an accident or something like that, what, what do we do? بين اقوال العلماء الى المرفق، لكن لو فعلت هذا يكفي فقط، طبعا بي 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 بيش بلين و ثم بعد ذلك طبعا هذه الحاله الثانيه، الحاله الثالثه مثلا لو ان هذه الجثه متعفنه متعفنه وفيها من الجراثيم المعديه، ما الذي يصنع بها؟ اتت طبعا في المقصده الثانيه اللي هناك فتدخل اما ان تاتي في كيس في كيس في كيس من عندهم مباشره ثم اذا وصلت الى هنا ماذا تفعلون فيها؟ تيمم نفس الطريقه فقط تاتي الى هنا من اجل ان تيمم فقط على التيمم رايت هاند اون يضرب هاند طبعا يكون عنده هو يكون عنده يلبس اذا جاءت يلبس لباس طبعا سلامه نفس الذي سيقوم به العمليه يكون طبعا هو لابس لباس السلامه حتى لا يكون سببا في ماذا؟ في 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 مرضه <تصفيق> نعم ينفتح الكيس ويقول لا بس السلامة حتى عنده هذا كل هذا الجوان ويوممه يوممه بالتراب هذا لو جاءت مثال جثة مثال جثة وجدوا النصف هذا وهذا لا يوجد مثل ما ذكرنا ماذا تفعلون أنتم فيها يغسل المقدور عليه خلي ما يكلم ترجم أيوة طيب we go back to the situation that if, for example, you have a situation where the body, um, where you can't do ghusl uh, uh, for the body for whatever reason, whether it's uh, there's too much blood or something, then what you do is you make the young by uh, what they do is they hit some uh, dirt here and then wash over the face, uh, wipe over the face as you do with tiyammu, uh, and then go up to the arms and uh, do uh, wipe over the hands. And you can go up all the way to the elbow if you want because there's difference of opinion and you can uh, uh, go between the two differences of opinion here, whether it's up to the wrist or up to the elbow. In the situation where the, the body has passed away due to uh, a, a, the, from you know, the plague or uh, from a contagious disease and your people that it could, uh, it could uh, transfer to other people, then what you do is you cover the body with, uh, with, with a plastic, plastic bag. It's like a plastic bag or a top of a wrap that covers it. That's done in another section. And then they bring it over here to make tiyamu with it as well. So they won't wash it with water. And the same thing, the person that's doing the tiyamu will have some special type of gloves on and a mask and he'll be uh, sort of wrapped up and he'll be protected. They open up the bag, they do the tiyamu on him, and, uh, on his face and on his arms again, and then they close him up and then send him out for burial. And that's the same when it comes to a person that's body, whose body has been mutilated somehow. So for example, he might only have half a body, either the top part of the body or the other part of the body, and the same type of thing, they'll do, they'll do, they'll, they'll make tiyamu with him. <laughs> نفس الطريقة التي ذكرناها في السليم، إذا لو وجد مثال نصف هذا فقط وهذا لم يوجد فهذا يغسل على نفس الطريقة، ما الذي يسقط؟ إذا كنت تسقط العورة وما بعدها فهذا كله طبعا يسقط الغسل فيه، فيبدأ بنفس الطريقة يهل يديه ثم بعد ذلك الأنف ثم 
يمسح ثم ثم اليدين ثم يمسح ثم وينتهي هكذا ويغسل الشق الايمن الموجود والشق الايسر الموجود فان وجد شق فقط فيغسل الشق كله مثل ما ذكرنا سواء كان الايمن او الايسر سواء كان لو وجدت الجثه وما وجد الراس فيسقط حكم الراس ويغسل سائر الجسد وان وجد بعض الجثه فيها خلاف بين العلماء في الاكثر والاقل والصحيح ان ما وجد يغسل ما وجد يغسل لانه هو المقدور عليه غير المقدور يسقط وهناك قاعده الامام الشافعي الميسور لا يسقط بالمعسور الميسور لا يسقط بالمعسور So just to clarify, uh, so if you find a situation where the body is uh, mutilated and you only have half of the body, then you wash, you don't make tiyamu, you wash the parts of the body as, as it was uh, shown previously, the parts of the body that you have in front of you. So for example, if there's no uh, bottom part of the body, then you make ghusl to the top part of the body of the wudu. You first you make the wudu and the ghusl as you were shown in, uh, with, with, the, with the first part of the, uh, in the, first part of the dem uh, demonstration. That you 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 do what you can do, uh, and and uh, that goes to the same for for example the head. If, if if the head isn't there and you just have the body, then you wash. Uh, the, the the ruling for the head uh, is is not there, uh, and what you do to the head, obviously you don't do because it's not there, and you just do what you have to do with the rest of the body as it was uh, told uh, to you previously. 